Good morning, everyone. It's Tammy, and today I'm unboxing my Archer and Olive uh, quarterly subscription box. So this is the fall box. It says Vintage Library, which already has my interests perked for sure. Welcome to Archer and Olive Library. You are invited to come inside and take it all in. Every wall is filled with handcrafted books with, ex with exquisite detail. There is quiet, peace, a record of the human experience throughout history. Find your favorite nook, settle in, and stay a while. So, oh my goodness, it sounds intriguing for sure. The box itself is really cute. They do really nice packaging. Sometimes too nice in my opinion because I don't know what to do with it after I have opened it, but the box has uh, like books on all the corners or all the sides and then it opens, I think maybe it's glued. There, I have a couple of glue places on it, but you open it up to this. And then the, even the front has uh, books. So the first thing is this Vintage Library Stationery Box, September 2023. Create something, write in journal, prioritize yourself, breathe deep, deeply, turn over for spoilers or set aside to be surprised. So let's set it aside for now because I want to be surprised. But oh my goodness, I see a memo, memo pad, binder clips, ink, rotating date stamp and ink pad, cal uh, cal Calligraph, calligraph vintage library markers, some decorative tape. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to put this to the side and open one thing at a time. And I am going to be using my scissors. So let's see here. memo pad if I can get it opened and that's exactly what it says oh it looks like an old library card oh and so do the pages it's really cute this would be really cute for some junk journaling oh and they're different colors there's purple cream and pink before I saw that, I didn't even realize that this wasn't white. I thought this was white, but now that I see it, let's see. Ugh. Oh, here's a white something, something. So you can see that they are clearly different colors. But that's really cute. I like that a lot. I don't know if I'm going to keep everything back in their box or not. I think I'll just put it like this. So let's see this rotating date stamp. And ink pad so I think I know what this is yes it's one of these old-fashioned kind of dates it's set to July 9th 2023 I don't know if that's when they packaged it but I might move it to September 22nd because that is Christopher's birthday and it's coming up I'm not sure I think this is posting after that but there, that's really cute and then it has just a little ink pad so you can ink it up and you could even put it on the date do the memo pad or whatever how fun is that that is cute I'm enjoying that already I'll keep that in the box because I don't want to lose it oversized binder clips oh my these are oversized binder clips but you get two and they are the kind that you do this with and then you can clip very cute though and fun I like how it's open very cute said I wasn't using the boxes and as I use the boxes oh well these are the pen I have some of these pens and I do like them they are like paint pens That looks like you get mocha, golden brown, yellow, ochre, slate blue, and umber. Oh. 
Oh, maybe these aren't like paint pens. Well, let me just, I'm going to use one of the cream colored ones. These are very nice and thick. And does it tell you the color on here? Nope. But this one I believe is umber. Nope, I think this one is mocha. I'm just getting it all wrong, aren't I? Maybe I'll write mocha. So there's the mocha. This one is the golden brown. It's a beautiful, like mustard yellow color, I would call it. This one is the yellow ochre. It's kind of a, maybe this is, maybe this is more golden than it is mustard. Maybe this is more, um, now that I see it with it, I would say this is more like a sunflower color. Sorry, my bracelet. Yellow. And I don't even know if I'm saying ochre right, but I don't know how else I would say it. So there's that. And then we have slate blue. Ooh, that's pretty. These are really pretty colors. I'm trying to do the thick and thin a little bit so you guys can see, but I forget to do it sometimes, so moot. This one is umber. U-M-B-E-R. Beautiful fall colors. I do love those. Very, very pretty. And the only reason I would keep the box for these is so I can remember the colors. Even with this, I don't usually keep those together. So, uh, I have a, I have a box of these. So there's a good chance I won't keep the box for this, but we shall see. But these are really pretty and I do enjoy those very much. Let's see, this one is book and typewriter stickers, letters, numbers, and symbols. There's four sheets in here. So let's see what is in here. Oh, okay. So typewriter letters, two, oh, maybe there's just four sheets of the same. Oh, nope, these are a little different. These are book letters. So they're in white and then kind of an off-white, kind of a cream color. I don't even know if you can tell the difference with the lighting in here, but they're, these are white and these are a little more eggshell, white and eggshell. The alphabet stickers, those would be fun in my planner. If I did like a book, I could even do it in my book planner. Those are really cute. I have been reading a lot this year, which is fabulous, but I think, well, let's see. I have these washies. Oh, goodness. So there is star washi, which is kind of fun. And here's just kind of a patterned washi. And some book washi with gold foil. And these are from the library of currently reading book review cute so what I'm gonna do is put these in my I have a washi tape book and 
me go ahead and add these to it so I can see what I have. I love this book washi. It's so pretty. Archer and Olive. That way I'll know where I got it. Now this one has like a little piece of tape holding it. I don't know if that's necessary. I didn't know if it was like the kind of washi with the paper underneath or, and then it goes into currently reading again, but if you can see, this is a different color. There, now you can see from the library book review. And then it looks like it does a repeat of the colors, but they are different. Cute. And then I think I'll do this one this way too, so you can see more of the pattern. I might even, I'll just do it twice because I know the next one is stars. Then it looks like it even has oh, the Amber Sam for Archer and Olive. So I guess I should get that in there too. And then it looks like it starts over with this washi. So that's the whole strip of washi. And then the last one is stars, which is kind of cute. You can rate your books. You could say, oh, this was a five star or whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Let's call it a five star. And then we can do a four star. <laughs> I know you guys get it. I'm just having fun. A three star. And I wouldn't even waste this washi for anything less than that. But two star and a one star. Oops. Didn't even want to do the one star. That's fun. So that is the washi, which is adorable. And this box is cute too. I could maybe reuse that box in a planner as well. Coffee looks like there's two more things. Well, let me put my coffee down for a second. Grab the two more things. There's that. And I'm sure this is a notebook, so I'll open that one last. This one says Pocket Library. Mm. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm dying. I love this. I'm so glad I didn't cancel last time and I even told myself that I was going to. <gasps> oh my gosh. These are so oh, cute. They are perfect. They feel like leather. They are, they feel like really nice books. Oh my gosh. Like vintage books. This is embossed. Don't know if you can hear it, but this has a nice like like a linen feel. The other one feels leather. This one is linen, but then the little hearts feel like leather. There's gold foiling in here. It has a nice little strap, elastic strap. This book belongs to, and then it is grid lined. Has the little amber sam and the cute little. Oh, and then it even has the cute little bookmarks. I was gonna say it even has the pocket in the back. 
and it has a blackish, maybe that's a dark olive um, or black elastic. It is so cute. I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with it, but I love it. And this one is like a burgundy leather bound book with gold foiling. It says noted. Oh my gosh. It too has the amber sam on the bookmarks that are burgundy. And it has the pocket in the back as well. So you can put notes or whatever you need. And it also has the black elastic. And they are just adorable. And they look so cute together. And they fit perfectly. Well, I say that and then I see that I have this twisted. They fit perfectly into the library. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is really, really cute. And I love that this side looks like it too. Oh, but I'm gonna to need to put them the same way. I need to switch that around so that the spines are in the same location. And it's cute, like this one looks like that one, this one looks like that one, and here's the spines. Oh my goodness, I am in love with that. That is so cute. And then last but not least, there is, I'm sure this is a 192 page dot grid notebook. I'm going to be careful not to hurt the box because as much as I complained about their boxes last time, they seem to have gotten a lot less exuberant this time and a lot less wasteful with their packaging. So that is nice my last haul you hear me complain it was beautiful packaging but it was just over the top and kind of silly but this time it seems pretty appropriate and I love that this is in its own box too just because it makes it feel so elegant and look how pretty this is and it fits with the book theme and this is a nice reusable book you could do lots of things with this even if you just set it on your dresser Oh my goodness, so I really expected this to be this color, but it's that slate blue that I loved and has blue foiling. This is like a linen and this has like a, I don't know if you can see the different colors of foiling, but there's a like a royal blue, navy blue, then like an ice blue foiling. It is the grid paper. And it has the ice blue bookmarks with the amber sam. And it has, of course, the pocket in the back to hold all your goodies. It has the black elastic. And then this is a blue elastic. The front and back look very similar, only the front is um, foiled. Oh, the back is too, but the back middle part isn't. It's foiled with the blue, but it's not foiled with the metallic ice blue. And then here is the, the uh, binding. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So it has both the ice blue and the navy blue too. Ah, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I definitely need to use this for something. This would be great for a book journal. Maybe I'll do that after I'm finished with my one that I'm using now. Oh my gosh. And I'm definitely going to use this. You could even cover this with something if you wanted to, just so it wouldn't have this Amber Sam sign on it. I see my, the reason I say that is because I see myself using this on my dresser to just hold my earrings and stuff. And maybe I want it to be more decorative or something. And you know, you could easily do that. So that is nice. This is by far my favorite. I like the stickers, they're cute. I love the markers, they're fun. And the washi tape is cute. Um, I love this notebook. That is awesome. And the clips are great. I mean, you know, they're clips. I'll put those out so that you can see. And then the washi tape is fabulous. So you can't see it all right now, but I will put a picture here at the end. And I know my lighting is crazy. It's bad lighting, bad time of day, but 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep this subscription based on this box. I really love it. So I am very happy with this, even though I need a notebook, like I need a hole in my head and I need pins even worse. So yeah, it's great and washy. Oh yeah. But I can't help it. This is what I love and I am thrilled to have all of this. So thanks again for watching. I will talk with you all soon. Bye.